commander of the International Space Station for Expedition 20 in the center seat of the Soyuz TMA-14, flanked on his left by flight engineer number one, Mike Barrett, and on his right, Koichi Wakata from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, acting today as flight engineer two. Okay. Yes, SS weapon mode completed. Uh. Undocking at uh, 4.29 p.m. Central Time, directly over the South Pacific, altitude 223 statute miles, Soyuz TMA-14 flying free. is completed, Bidus 1. Selecting thrusters B, A9. Michael, go ahead and send the command A9. A9, done. GAF-5 is eliminated. Do we need to confirm? Acknowledge, Slava? Slava, you're not saying anything. I'm finding out for you. And uh, RUD, THC, is uh, selected, and that's activated. You can, we can acknowledge if you'd like. Half of the International Space Station crew now flying uh, away from the complex. Gennady uh, Padalka, Mike Barrett, and Koichi Wakata backing away from the aft port of the Zvezda service module. That service module launched almost nine years ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. No, no need. Okay. How about, about the ring? Is it clear? Yes, the ring is clear. Okay, copy. That huge antenna on the right uh, is the Lyra antenna that provides a high data rate uh, telemetry from the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station, as well as uh, downlink television over Russian ground stations. We've had a, a momentary loss of uh, signal. We'll be regaining communications momentarily. Full maneuver uh, of the Soyuz. There is very slight misalignment. Okay, you go for fly around. Copy fly around and work. And Gennady Padalka now has begun uh, his fly around a short distance. Uh, you can see uh, from this very clear view from the Soyuz camera that uh, the Soyuz now maneuvering uh, over to the uh, side of the International Space Station where he will align uh, the forward docking probe of the Soyuz about 75 meters. Shoot me if you do clear the chip. A little bit less than two cells, the diameter of the DC-1 uh, dock in port ring. Okay, we copy. The range is 25 meters. Not me there, machine. Oh, we have a visual of the target. Copy. copy. Okay, here it comes. You can see on the very left side of your screen, uh, at the top, that is uh, the Kibo module, the Japanese segment of the International Space Station, soon to receive new equipment uh, via the shuttle Endeavour. The very bottom of your screen now fading away from the field of view is the Columbus module from the European Space Agency. The accordion-like uh, solar arrays uh, folded uh, for the rest of its lifetime. No longer needed. Those are the solar arrays that originally generated power for the Zarya module. They were folded uh, to provide uh, the correct extension clearance uh, for radiators on the trusses of the International Space Station. The fly around now complete as Gennady Padalka uh, perfectly orients uh, the forward docking probe of the Soyuz TMA-14 with uh, its soon-to-be new docking port at the pier's docking compartment. The International Space Station flying 223 statute miles above the Earth, approaching Tierra del Fuego at the very southern tip of South America. Okay, um, rotation in the roll channel by 90 degrees. Copy. 
The visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control reports uh, the Padaka now maneuvering uh, the Soyuz, as you can clearly see, uh, a rotational maneuver to uh, correctly orient the solar arrays and the docking probe uh, for final approach. Uh, we have a stable visual of uh, the docking target and of the docking point. A slight uh, approach, but we are trying to damp it for station keeping. Copy. Okay, the maneuver is complete, station keeping. Okay, I actually... Uh, but the ground could use it, so please take care of it. Yes. Okay, it's done. Let's try one more time, again. Done. Right now I think the image is better. Yes. You're right, and we have right image. No changes in uh, range, approximately 27, 28 meters. Well, the crosshairs are slightly misaligned, but you don't worry about that right now. No, we do not. This uh, brief period of station. No, it's actually 47 minutes. Okay, Jeff, in a second, Jeff 5 and flood light. Okay, Mike, please follow the uh, uh, procedure. Let's check the RODF, see what do we need to do next. It's GEF 5. Okay, are you sure we didn't miss anything? The LED is on. Do we have the flood light on? Yes. Because we can't really see it well, but I confirm. Because I don't see. Well, I don't see the floodlight. We need to turn the light off here. Could you please acknowledge the uh, floodlight one more time? Because I don't see it. Slava, do you copy our exchange? Yes. Having moved into an orbital sunset over Rio de Janeiro. The International Space Station of the Soyuz, uh, just moments away from the redocking of the Soyuz to the pier's docking compartment. Floodlight has now uh, been illuminated at the forward end of the Soyuz uh, to provide uh, Gennady Padalka with a better visual uh, cue uh, to a lot. Okay. Tournament, I don't see yet. Let me do some adjustments here. Ian. Action will be the undocking on October 11th to bring uh, Padalka and Mike Barrett back to Earth. Uh, what's the range rate? Yes, at least uh, The docking target is in the center. Right now I have a good stable visual. Okay, it's uh, sunset. Uh, excellent range rate. You're doing wonderful. Copy. Okay. Line. I see contact. I feel it. Docking confirmed. 4.55 p.m. Central Time. 223 statute miles above the northeast coast of South America. The Soyuz back at the International Space Station after its brief flight. Okay, let's turn over. Okay, which page do we need to work from? CIR 